following presentation is rated PG and may contain coarse language and mature themes. Viewer discretion is advised. I know I'm not ready to have kids anyway because you gotta be so selfless, right? Like I'm not ready to have kids because I'm not ready to take a kid to a movie that I don't want to see. And you're gonna have to. Your kid's gonna be like, I wanna go to Minions. And you're supposed to go, oh, great. I am so excited. I've been watching this movie about pills wearing jeans. This will be fun. Do you wanna see it in 3D so I can hate it closer to my face? <laughs> Parents said there's so much trash. Like my mom it took me and my brother to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when we were kids. I loved it so much. I wanted my mom to feel what I was feeling. So I remember looking over at my mom like, mom, Turtles, you gotta get into this. I'll never forget the look on her face. At the time, she's a 26-year-old woman just sitting there with her head in her hands like, what the f is happening in this movie right now? There's an ooze turning turtles into teenagers? I wasted $40 to be here when I could have been out there finding a father for these kids. As a comedian, going from town to town is your life. In and out of hotels sounds exciting, but with only working an hour a night, the other 23 can feel like a sentence. So what do you do? Anything. I'm Nathan McIntosh, and this is Stand Up Downtime. Let's get up to get down. I want the lights on me. This is my good friend, Frank Spadone. Very funny comedian who's also a Just For Laughs veteran. My buddy called me, he's like, hey Frank, um, we got the guys together. Uh, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go to this escape rooms place. <laughs> I'm like, escape rooms? I'm married with two kids. I play escape room <laughs> every day of my life. <laughs> Hey, buddy, what's up, man? Oh, I'm good, man, what's going on? Hey, I already grabbed the tickets, man. It's gonna be awesome. I can't okay. wait. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's cool, man. Yeah, it's super cool. This would be a sick, like, TV room, man. A couple of drinks, a couple of glasses of wine. laughs. Troubles are over, man. That's it. Hey man, look at this. Wow. They used to like uh, put holes in people's heads to get demons out. Is that what it is? Yeah, well there's other reasons too, but like if somebody had a headache, they were like, so just, and they thought, no. seriously, they thought that was they would release pressure. That's and now, you, now you're walking around with like, hey man, what I have your headache? And you, you know, you die. Yeah, I feel like I got a hole in my head. Do you know anything about like chemistry, biochemistry? I have no idea, dude. Nothing? I just have, I, I don't even know why people laugh at my jokes. This, uh, Seems a little bit offensive for kids. You probably don't need to know that until, you know, at least 18. Yeah. You got two kids, right? Yeah. How old are your kids? 11 and 6. And what, boy, girl? Two boys. Two boys. Yeah, it's like WWE in my house. Can I say that I'd like to have a little girl one day, but little girls are scary. Am I wrong? Like horror movies? You know, a parent will just oh, wake up and there's, ones, a, there's yeah. just a daughter standing those at the end of the bed. Are, yeah, yeah, they can be. They can imagine if they're scary at that age. Yeah. And I grew up with three sisters. Crazy. Tough? Crazy. Hmm. They hit puberty and then they were even scarier. I had a little brother. Yeah? Yeah. Did you um, dress him up like a little sister? Because my sisters oh, dressed why me up. I? <laughs> That's what they <laughs> That's did. Crazy. That's a You think it's well, tough. That's a thing, yeah. You think it's tough with bros? Uh-huh. Having sisters, first of all, physically, they're crazy, they're like yeah. wild cats. Yeah. And then the psychological warfare, <laughs> putting makeup on me, putting earrings, and then all of a sudden, they're not my friend. Yeah. And that's when I realized how jealous they are. I grew up with three older sisters. I still don't know what's going on, you know what I mean? It, it starts when you're teenagers, then you get the hormonal thing that every 
month. You guys gotta go through that crazy stuff. And um, my sisters are a lot older than me, and my, my mom didn't tell them that this was gonna happen. And the sex education in school, not like now, everyone's like, you're telling them too much. They said nothing back then. My sister had no idea. She just came home freaking out one day like, oh my God, mom, this thing is happening to and then my mom, this is what she did, she gave her a little, calm it down. You're the woman and now, don't get the pregnant, thank you very much, goodbye. <laughs> that was it, that was her speech. Gave her a band-aid, I don't know, whatever. Well, me and my brother got into an argument over a Super Nintendo game, I think. I don't know and uh, we fought over the controller or something, and then I'm playing it, and I just, he just comes in and cracks me in the head. Oh, yeah. With the hockey stick. Right in the head. Just like full on, who's that guy that landed on the guy's neck? Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi. From behind. He and gave then... me a full-on Bertuz to the neck Listen, for a Super Nintendo. Your son's fight? Full-out WWE, man, and they love it. <laughs> and one guy's got a belt, and he walks around like the little guy. You bought guy. him a little belt? I bought him a heavyweight That's champion funny. belt. Was there like an actual sanctioned match for this belt? Yeah, we do. I have to do the announcements for them. It's hilarious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, win, win boys in. and girls, weighing in at 29 right. pounds and 70 pounds. Adrian. This shouldn't happen at all. This is an absolute Colossal. Unsanctioned match. Unsanctioned match, but these are 24 7 rules. And he's got his whole thing and he comes in. And he puts his glasses up and he's ready. His glasses? That's hilarious. Do they have a little move? They fight each other? Yeah. Couch? Where are they doing? Yeah, no, on right in front of the Ottoman. And then they use the Ottoman and fly and and then, yeah. One time, right, when I was a kid, I fell out of a treehouse. Don't tell anybody this, Frank. I fell out of a treehouse and landed completely on my business. Okay, oh, on a ladder. Okay, so you don't think I went no, but I'm just oh, oh, right and then I on ran, the ladder. On a ladder, and then like I ran this. around, buddy. I ran around, and I passed out, and I woke up in the hospital. Doctor and my mom, I'm pantsless, waist down. I woke up, doctor and my mom, like I groggily come awake, and the doctor looks at my mom, and he, and she, and he goes, he might not be able to have kids. I'll never wow. forget that. I know. And you remember that? Uh, yeah, you remember that. And then, and then he goes, all right, so run to the other side of the room, and I went. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. Remember the, but remember like, obviously the olden, you know, like yeah, the, the 90s, oldies. 80s, yeah, yeah, people yeah. just like walk it off, you know, yeah, hole yeah. in the head. Yeah, hole walk in the head, off. no problem. <laughs> you'll be good, stick a band-aid on it, you'll be good in a couple days. Here's a lemon cookie, get out there. You don't think I gotta learn to tell kids when they say don't do something? Tell them why. Yeah. Because my cousins used to double ride me on their handlebars of the, of the You're 10 on the speed. Front. Yeah, and they go, just don't, don't, make sure your foot doesn't go in there. And they told me so many times, I'm like, I wonder why. And then, boom, and then I woke up in the hospital room. Doctor. And my poor cousin, he's got no teeth. Oh, yeah? He's got That's no another front reason teeth. a doctor could be like, I don't think he's going to be able to have kids. Yeah. And they go, why? It's like, because nobody's going to want to. Yeah, who's going to want to sleep with this man? With this guy. Yeah. <laughs> You want to see a man be a man? Don't get zapped. Victory. Bro. Bro. What's this do? to my uncle's house not too long ago, and um, he, nice guy, Uncle John, he's like, I am over, and he's like, hey Frank, uh, you want a beer? I'm like, sure, I'll take a beer. And he gives me a beer, and it's a Heineken. And I know my uncle's one of the cheapest guys <laughs> I know, and why does he buy this? It's expensive beer, I had to ask him. I'm like, hey, Uncle Johnny, um, Tell me, you like to watch your money, uh, but you, you buy Heineken beer. It's a little bit, you know, expensive. Why do you buy this beer? He's like, I don't know. I go to the beer store. The guy tell me, uh, what kind of beer do you want? I say, give me any kind. <laughs> Control these functions. If, if you had to consciously control your breathing while you, you'd be in trouble. Is this your first time reading a thing, Frank? I think so. There should be an Italian museum 
where there's like, you know what I mean? You in the, yeah. hey, you like your brain? What's in your yeah, head? You know, you can't uh, sleep and breathe at the same time if you have to think about it. You're not thinking <laughs> if about you, it. If you get up and you gotta, I can't do it in Italian. You, do you gotta it, keep do doing it. it. You can do it. No, is it all right? If you get up and you, you gotta go to the bathroom, I mean, uh, about a thing, you go to, they open the door. <laughs> you got, this is what I feel like. I know there's words that are missing. You can walk, breathe, think, all in the same time. You just gotta keep the balance. Sometimes that's why when your brains don't work, your mother will give you a couple of slaps <laughs> in the head. Oh, Beautiful, right. This you. has gotta be offensive to somebody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is true, I can't see 3D, because I got a lazy eye. I Which swear. one? It looks fine. But I know, but if I take my contact off, it'll be like, a little bit. Okay. When I wear lenses, it kind of, and I wore a patch, yeah, like but a pirate. Like, yeah, no, but it was it was terrible. Well, it was like the patch with the, the strap. A, no, they my parents couldn't afford it. They just put like uh. newspaper flyers over my other lens. Prosciutto with a piece just of prosciutto, a... dried prosciutto, with tape, with masking just tape. Just salted meat yeah. with pasta. Almost wrecked my good eye. I got a lazy eye. Yeah, I was born. I'll tell you that I was born with a lazy eye. Yeah, uh, one eye does all the work, and the other one's on employment insurance. <laughs> this one <laughs> doesn't want to do anything. Doesn't want to do anything. This eye, I had to patch it. I had to patch the good eye to force the bad eye to do work. <laughs> and it got better. It's still a little bit, you can't tell uh, when I wear my glasses. And stuff. Ironically, I was a way better hockey player before I rehabbed it, the goalies had no idea. <laughs> Where I was shooting, you know what I mean? I screwed up my NHL career. I could have been in the NHL. I could be an actor. Can you imagine my hockey card? <laughs> look at this guy. You're all red. You look I'm terrifying. Hot. You look like a ketchup chip. You're, yeah, look at this. You're more red in person. That's so weird. Yeah, but you look literally like a bag of ketchup chips. I like you like. should just be cracking this open. And you, you look terrifying. Uh, that doesn't did you seem, moisturize this morning? That doesn't seem good. Just one red dot. That's it. Just your cheek. Look at your whole face. Look at your tire. I got high blood pressure. <laughs> Too many kids, man. That's right, that is right. Too many, Too many kids. kids. I used to use this phrase before I had kids. I slept like a baby last night. I don't use it anymore. Cause I know what a baby sleeps like. And I hate it when my friends with no kids come over, right? Like, oh, I slept like a baby last night. I'm like, oh really, what happened? You shit yourself a couple times last night? Had to change your pajama cause you soaked through on one of them, finally fell asleep, but woke yourself up cause you farted really loud and you started yourself and you couldn't go back to sleep because you were punching yourself in the head and you didn't know that it was you that was doing it. It's like, who's punching me in the head? Is that how you slept? Or did you sleep like somebody who's got no kids? This is a great way to relax after this. It's unbelievable. I like, feel like I'm in like a like a, a lazy boy. <laughs> it's hitting my pressure points, buddy. Ball spa? Ball spa. <laughs> nice. Full, full, are full you, ball spa? Are you still there? I don't, I think a ball just kind of rolled into my mouth. How are you doing? I can um, only see the top of your head. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. I'm just a little, you know, I can't swim and stuff, but, um, and it's almost the same sensation. I feel like I'm floating on balls. I can't swim either. Have you never been able to swim? Never, never, dude. Never. Did you ever take lessons or anything? Um, I tried once. I got comfortable enough to put my head in the water and walk across the shallow end. Yeah. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. And how about you? When I was a kid, man, my mom sent me the lessons at the Y, right? Yeah. I failed the first one, straight up failed. Like they gave a kid a failing grade for swimming. No. And then the next year that I went back, they sent me down the big slide into the deep end. Oh no. Because they were like, well, this is how he's gonna learn. He's either gonna learn or die. And I, I hit the bottom, Frank, and, and I walked up the ramp oh, no. to the shallow end. You walked right up. Like 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 a sea creature. It's and I failed. 
Do your kids swim? Yeah, they can swim better than me. I'm hoping they get big enough to be able to hold my fat body <laughs> in, uh, up above the water. Can your wife swim? Yeah. You no, know, she won't teach you? No. <laughs> she doesn't want me to survive. <laughs> Do you stay in touch with your family a lot when you're on the road? I try to, but it feels a lot like home, especially in a hotel room. They're like, what's it like? And I'm like, well, e every morning, some woman who can barely speak English is trying to get in my room and clean it. And that's what it was like living with my Italian mom. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> every day, just pushing on the door, knocking on it? Yeah, that's it. Like, hey, I'm still sleeping. I had to get married, right? The, you know, like, I, they bug you at an early age. Like, right? Frank, when are you going to get married? Come on. Frank, it's about the time. I'm like, I'm 14, relax. What do you think's going on? But then my mom would give me advice about women, not the most positive. This is my favorite advice my little Italian mom would give me, right? Hey, hey Frank, watch out, hey. Keep you high open. The women of today, it's not like when I was young. No, no, no. The women of today, it's a different. The women of today, it's a like an olive oil. I'm like, olive oil? What are you talking about? Yes, it's like an olive oil. They say they virgin. <laughs> but, you know, they've been pressed more than one time. You know what I'm saying? Not all Italian comedians are loved by the Italian community, right? It depends. Okay. I would say so, though. I mean, Everyone? I think, I think they do. I think, the, you know, they just love being heard, Italians, you know? Look how loud we are. And then you got a guy talking about your, your culture. They, 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 they love it. But when you can imitate someone's uh, parents and uh, it brings them back, Oh yeah, they love it, and for some it brings back bad memories. I would love to be able to market to uh, just redheads, you know? <laughs> you should. But it's so, I mean, that room would be so bright. I mean, the whole, you know what I mean? Every single translucent freak in the world is in the crowd. <laughs> but you know, I think people would come to the shows just to see it. I'd pay money to see your redheads. Red, would you? Yeah. You know what, you're like, you're just like sticking out. Like, you're so noticeable in this, like, did you know, red and green are complimentary. Yeah, I'm Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you're, If yeah. a kid ran by right now, they'd be like, Mom, Christmas yeah, is in Christmas there. Christmas is in the... They should, oh my God. They should do a thing, because, I mean, kids obviously love this, and we've, we've really, you know, kicked a lot of kids out of here to enjoy our own time in here. They do Santa in a ball pit. That'd be amazing. Do you know in what I mean? Green ball pit, or white. Or white. You gotta, cool. But you go to the mall and there's a line and the kids have to swim to Santa. That'd be amazing. Yeah. And if you can get to them, you might get your gift. And if you can't get to them, you're yeah. just a kid that we didn't need. I think there's a lot of kids that wouldn't get their gifts, judging yeah. by the way we got in I here. think, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, if I, if I had to, if I had to get out of, if like I had to swim in here to talk to Santa, I wouldn't have made it. This is, I think I got a new idea. What? Like, you don't need memory foam, or you don't need like the number bed. You, the, we, a ball bed would be. Look at. I feel so. I feel so relaxed. Frank, where are you? I'm over here. Yeah, this would be a great bed, man. Yo. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. We gotta get. I'm now. I'm starting to get anxiety. All right, I, let's head back to the hotel, I man. Think we gotta go. <sighs> What's that? That's, is that you? Oh. I felt, was that oh. a foot? Oh. Which way is the, the, the... <laughs> oh. Buddy, you gotta help a uh, guy. <laughs> help! I'm losing him. I don't know melt to mouth, man. You're on your own. All right. You got it? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, buddy. Oh, I got the side. Oh. Uh, Kids uh, like this? Uh, uh, and then my mom, not too long ago, took care of my son. I brought him home and he was swearing. I didn't care. I'm not one of those parents, but I called my mom just to see, right? And, and so I, I called her, hey, Ma, um, I brought Adrian home. He's swearing a little bit, you know, did something slip or you thought something was funny, right? She gets mad at me. No, no, no. I not teach my grandson the bad words. Why you call me like this? Insult me in this way. Why you think it's me? I go, why do I think it's you? Because he's running around the house saying, hey daddy, this toy, it's a f <laughs> Son of a daddy. 
I think the accent gave it away there, Ma, a little bit. She gets all mad. She's like, don't f***ing bring him here no more. F*** you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs>